There is a reason medieval timber buildings are still standing in Europe today, while modern treated wood often fails in a couple of decades. It wasn't because they had access to exotic materials or sophisticated laboratory-made preservatives. Their greatest advantage was knowledge. Old, stubborn, time-tested knowledge passed from father to son, whispered on job sites, guarded by guilds, and born from centuries living face to face with rot, moisture, and harsh weather. For the next minute, consider this. The same timber frame barns, bridges, beams, and oak halls built 600 years ago still hold their shape because medieval carpenters use something modern builders almost never think about. Not a chemical, not a coating, a natural, accessible, incredibly durable mixture that outperforms many synthetic sealants today. And the most surprising part is that anyone can recreate it with simple materials. What medieval carpenters relied on, above all else, was their signature wood preservative blend, a mixture of raw linseed oil, pine tar, and sometimes a small amount of beeswax. This wasn't a casual choice. It was a craft refined over generations, adjusted for climate and timber type, and applied with the same seriousness a smith would give a sword blade. This blend worked because each ingredient played a specific biological and chemical role. Pine tar provided antifungal and antibacterial properties while also forming a moisture-resistant barrier. Linseed oil penetrated deeply into the timber, strengthening fibres and slowing decay from within. Beeswax added flexibility and surface sealing without cracking. Together they formed a finish that moved with the wood, repelled water, resisted rot, discouraged insects, and lasted for years. More importantly, this mixture allowed wood to breathe, avoiding the trapped moisture issues that plague many modern synthetic sealants. Medieval carpenters, well, they understood the behaviour of wood better than many builders today. You see, they worked with it from the standing tree all the way to the final beam. They applied their preservative blends only after carefully seasoning the timber. Instead of rushing the process, they stored logs under shade, covered them with branches or thatch. This allowed for slow drying, which avoided splits and preserved the resin. Once the wood was ready, they warmed their pine tar and oil mixture over coals until it thinned to the consistency of cream. You know, the warm application really helped the finish soak in far deeper than a cold coating ever could. This deep penetration, well, it's the primary reason buildings from the 13th century still stand with only periodic reapplication. To replicate this medieval method today, the process is surprisingly accessible. Start by securing raw or boiled linseed oil, real pine tar, not those creosote substitutes, and natural beeswax. In a pot placed over gentle heat, melt a small portion of beeswax. Add pine tar and linseed oil in roughly equal parts, stirring until you have a uniform blend. Once warm and fully combined, brush this mixture onto dry wood in long, deliberate strokes. The wood will drink it in immediately. After the first coat soaks, apply another. In colder climates, builders traditionally repeated the process each spring for a couple of years until the wood reached saturation. At that point, the timber became resistant to moisture in a way that honestly no surface-only synthetic can match. The effectiveness of this medieval sealant is not theoretical. 
It is visible in the timber-framed houses of Germany, the stave churches of Norway, and the surviving medieval barns of England. These structures endured centuries of storms, snow loads, rising damp, and insect pressure. Where modern building codes rely heavily on chemical treatments, these old buildings simply rely on a material science approach grounded in understanding how wood interacts with its environment. Medieval carpenters didn't try to make wood impermeable. They made it resilient. Another forgotten advantage of the medieval method is that it pairs naturally with other traditional wood-preserving techniques. Carpenters often charred the ends of posts before coating them, creating a carbon layer that further limited moisture absorption. They positioned beams so that airflow could circulate, keeping timber dry. They selected heartwood of durable species such as oak, chestnut or larch. Woods that already contain natural tannins and resins that slow decay. When combined with the pine tar linseed blend, these materials became nearly impervious to the elements. Modern survivalists and homesteaders can make practical use of these same principles with great success. For example, when building a garden gate or an outdoor shed, you can start with a durable species like cedar or oak. After shaping your boards, warm your pine tar and linseed mixture. Brush it on thoroughly, focusing on end grain joints and any exposed cuts. These are the areas most vulnerable to rot. If you're installing fence posts, lightly char the bottom section over a flame coat it while still warm, and then set it into gravel rather than soil. This simple combination of medieval techniques will extend the lifespan of the structure dramatically, often beyond what modern pressure-treated posts can achieve. For decking, outdoor furniture, tool handles, or any wooden surface exposed to weather, the same mixture provides long-term protection without the peeling or cracking associated with synthetic coatings. Reapply once a year for the first few years, and the wood will remain stable, moisture-resistant, and flexible. What medieval carpenters discovered wasn't a trick but a relationship with wood. They learned to work with its strengths, support its weaknesses, and protect it with materials nature itself provided. Their method endures because it is based on understanding rather than dependency on chemicals. If you found this deep dive into medieval craftsmanship valuable and want more research-backed techniques you can use in your own projects, Make sure to subscribe to Thermal Vault and share this guide with others who appreciate history that still works today.